All right, I'm back, I think. If you come on Facebook, tell me where you're coming from. All right, hang on a sec. All right, there we go. Crazy nonsense with uh, uh, technology, Wi-Fi, and all this crazy stuff. Anyway, topic today, do it your way. That's my biggest thing, all right? One of the best advice I ever received from one of my coaching mentors is you got to just make it your own. You got to do it because if you don't, down the road, you're going to say, I wish I'd have done something different. And we know what happens uh, in that case. You know, too many people say shoulda, coulda, woulda. Hey, April, what's happening? Nice, beautiful day here in the Northwest. Light breeze, a little overcast. Sitting at home, keeping the lunch with bomb going. Uh, anything new in your neck of the woods? You know, my, my topic today, though, is uh, do it your way, you know, and it, uh, you know, I exercise every day. It's something that I just do, you know, it, I might be going to the gym and working out or something around the house or something. There's always something going on. The kids is softball, soccer, dance, theater, all this crazy stuff. You know, we're always moving. We're always shaking. The kids are climbing on. <laughs> awesome. Well, y'all tell them hello for me, you know. You know, we got the always moving. So, you know, for me, it's just, it's an active lifestyle. You know, it's just the things that I do. You know, I've been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years. And I just, the biggest thing is that uh, you got to do it your way. You got to make it your own. You know, if, if, you, if you do it what someone else wants you to do, you know, in the end, you look back and you say, dang, I should have done it. I should have done my own thing. You know, do it my way. Make it yours. You know, it's your workout. You know, I don't care what exercise routine you use. You know, if it's somebody that's local and you want to come train with me at MVP, hit me up. You know, if you're doing some home workout uh, that you got a DVD, you know, do it. You know, maybe it's just you're going out for a 20-minute walk every day. Maybe you do CrossFit. Maybe you go to one of the local gyms. I don't care what you do. I says uh, six out of the ten uh, deaths in the country could be fixed by simple lifestyle changes. You know, simple things about eating good and exercising every day. So make it your own and get out and do it. You know, you got to... I, you know, I tell folks, you know, if you eat lean, clean, and green and stay away from packaged and processed foods, you know, there's a step in the right direction. You know, if you eat out all the time, just try not eating out one day, you know, and kind of, you know, set yourself up to make those healthy lifestyle changes, you know, but you got to make it your own. I, I'm going to keep coming back to that. If, if you, you have a plan and you work the plan, uh, good things are going to happen. The problem with so many people is the best program, the best exercise, uh, the best nutrition, uh, the best program is always the one you're not on. And shoot, everything is going to work for a short amount of time, but if you don't make it sustainable, if it's not something you can do over and over and over again for a long period of time, you're just going to be, it's going to be like this. You're going to have I mean, how many of you, drop it down below, if you have been on an exercise routine or a diet routine and you've done it for a little bit of time and you've had some success, but all of a sudden now you're right back to where you started, square one, or maybe even you're at square negative one. I right, Drop it down. Has that happened? Has that happened to you? Drop a one if it has. You know, say, yeah, that's happened to me. You know, I've, I've been on every diet you can. Be able. The problem is, is the best diet is the one that you're not on. The best exercise routine is the one that you're not on because the plan that you picked is not sustainable. You, it has to be sustainable, all right? It's a simple behavioral change. That's what I love about what I do. I get to wake up every single morning and try to empower people to make healthy changes. I can't do it for you. That's all the whole talk of this uh, this uh, lunch with bomb today is that you got to make it yours. You got to make it you. You know, it's no, there's no cookie cutter thing that's going to like magical, like, hey, this is going to, you know, work for everybody. You got to work everything. You got to have things in place that uh, makes it sustainable for you to do it over a long period of time. You know, who else is on here? Jess, what's happening? Plant protein. Love that business. You know, uh, here's a big thing. You know, everybody knows that uh, the nutritional that I use is from ZJ International. It's what I do. There's tons of products out there. You know, the biggest thing is that, uh, you know, a lot of the products that are on the market are garbage. Just just look at the ingredients that are in uh, on a label. 
I mean, I see it all the time. I've been doing this a long time. I've seen every product from this, that, and the other roll through the door. And uh, all I do is I take a look at the label and I tell folks you need to do a little more research. And they said, well, what do you mean? Well, you know, they probably nutritional things. You know, some people, it's probably better than what they're doing if they're eating the golden arches every single day, you know, or running into fast food and things like that. But, uh, you know, with us, we have three simple systems. We have a three-step simple system. All right, we have a superfood drink that we do first thing in the morning. It's the most nutritious plant ever discovered on earth. All right, do a little research on that, Moringa. All right, we have a, a thermogenic that we use, and then we also have a detox tea. You know, if you're looking for something, hit me up. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, thinking you're going to get a different result, and you're riding the roller coaster, and you're up and down, and up and down, and up and down. You know, the, I always tell folks the three main goals to make any nutritional program sustainable is number one, you got to give the body the best nutrition possible. If you want to lose weight, lean, lean out, uh, build lean, lean muscle tissue, you know, you got to give the body the best nutrition possible. You got to not overeat and or you got to focus on quality of the nutrients that you're putting in. A calorie is not a calorie, you know, quality, quality over quantity. And then you got to have a system to flush the body out you know everybody says well geez I go to the bathroom all the time well the body holds toxins in the body if you do a little bit of research all right you'll know exactly what I'm talking about shoot me a message all right so three simple systems it's just like MVP when I started MVP MVP was to help aspiring individuals attain their performance and fitness goals you know too many times people start an exercise routine they go they dive head first no safety net and within a few a few days a few weeks they're done all right how many of you joined a new gym just this year 2017 right at the beginning of the year but haven't been there yet not sustainable right some of that goes back to behavioral change. How many of you have started a nutritional program and it's not sustainable, right? It happens. Too many people. I hear people talk all the time. Wish I could do this. Should have done that. Should have done this. Could have done that, but didn't do it, you know, because it's not sustainable. All right. Well, the biggest thing is you're doing things that other people want you to do or doing something else that's not, not sustainable for you. You got to do it your way. Make it your own. All right. If you go into something in an exercise routine and you want to build some strength, but all of a sudden a uh, trainer's having you do a bunch of metabolic work, that doesn't make sense. You know, number one, I've always said you have to, uh, you have to establish your goal. You got to have a goal in mind written down on paper. If a goal is not written down on paper, it doesn't count. All right. It's just a wish. All right. I've said that before. In one of my other talks, a goal without a plan is just a wish, but you got to write it down. All right, write it down. Put it on sticky notes. I got a little sticky note in my car to remind me to do things every day. It's my way. It's the way that I do things. Monday, I do this. Tuesday, I do this. Wednesday, I do this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, repeat. You know, I said uh, the other day is that you got to write things down. And you get a pen out even in my little talk today. i just writing, writing notes down on paper. Because if it's just kind of like circling around in your head, then you just got too, much, too many distractions going on. All right, so, you know, have a plan. Make it your own. You know, my biggest thing is that, uh, low battery. We're cruising here, though. You know, the, the biggest thing that people uh, forget is they just jump around too much. I, they see this workout and they jump over here and they do this nutrition plan and they jump over here. And, oh, I saw this, uh, this water thing and I jumped over here. And it's like, it's crazy train. You know, people are all over the place, this, that, and the other. You know, number one, write your goals down, get out a sheet of paper, have a plan, you know, make it a systematic thing that you can do every day, something that's uh, sustainable, something that you can keep going, right? You know, same thing with our nutritionals that we use. It's, uh, it's something, I've been doing it for two and a half years. I says, lost 30 pounds and have kept it off the whole time. You know, sure, there's been some, a little bit of gradual rises and declines, but for the most part, things are dialed in. And it's, it's because, it's because it's a nutritional plan that is something that I can do every day. I do this in the morning, I do this in the afternoon, I do this in the evening, uh, and it, it's something that it just becomes a routine. You know, people can't make it a routine because they're jumping back and forth between too many things. So once again, my, my, my thought for you is just, you know, do it your way. Have a plan and do it your way. Uh, if you need a little jump start, little pick me up, 
you need you need a tra training partner, you need to work out with me at MVP, shoot me a message. Love to hook you up. You want to look at any, some of our nutritional things that we do, uh, go ahead and hit me up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. You know, people that have been training with me at MVP have been with me for seven or so years. You know, it's because it's just part of their routine. You know, the nutritional things that we do, I've been doing it for two and a half years now because it's sustainable. It's something that you can do over time and just keep keep it going, right? But it's my own. I'm, I made it my own. I have my own routine that I do. I says, I'm not going to uh, tell you you have to do exactly what I do because it won't work for you. You got to pick what, what works for you. You got to keep things in place so that it's a sustainable over time. You know, so once again, hit me up. If you got questions, uh, if you come on, I'll drop some other things in the bottom uh, answering your questions. But uh, you guys have a blessed day. And once again, make it your own. All right, we'll talk soon.